so good to see you all this morning. Would you join us as we continue to sing about a God um, of whom we are his children, which is our identity in Christ and in God. So let's sing that together.
my grandma, she would create a huge spread of food every single uh, time we would gather. And it would be spaghetti, and she would create this sauce, she'd be cooking it all day long, and it'd be salad, it'd be sourdough bread. But the one dish that my brother and I just loved was shrimp and corn salad. And you probably like, what the heck is shrimp and corn salad? Well, it was just basically a can of corn, and then you'd mix it up with mayonnaise and, and shrimp and green onions and, and, and uh, um, uh, what is it, celery. And it, it was delicious. If you've never tried it, maybe uh, maybe you can try it one day in the future. I think we got something coming up that you can try it. But the fun thing was is that there would always be leftovers. And so at the end of uh, the night, my brother and I would be staying up late, and we would get in there, and we would just eat the whole rest of the leftovers. And next day, they would wake up and be like, where's all the shrimp and corn salad? And we'd be like, I don't know. So we would eat it all. So that's a fun memory that I have with food. So, so something like that. Maybe something that uh, uh, triggers a memory for me that's food related, and then just uh, go and meet somebody after this. Uh, speaking of making food and making memories, we have something coming up for you to do just that. At the end of this month, we have what we call our um, Taste of Saddleback Yorba Linda International Potluck. Okay, and that's coming up on August 29th. And I just love that our church is so diverse. We have so much diversity represented at our specific campus in Yorba Linda. And on the 29th, you'll get to just taste uh, some food from that specific culture, right? You'll get to learn about some of that culture and, and taste some of their food. And I'm especially looking forward to some ayam goreng with some nasi goreng on the side. My Indonesians, they know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, and, and it's gonna be a lot, of, a lot of fun, all right? Now, if you want to be a part of that potluck, like if you want to make a dish and you want to bring it, you can actually go to where we get refreshments. And there's a little um, recipe card. I forgot to bring it up here. But um, you can grab that recipe card and sign up. And the reason why we're having a recipe card is not just to get your secrets of how you make those dishes, but so that we can know what's in the dish in case there's any food allergies or anything like that. Okay? Now, you might be thinking, like, well, why do you guys emphasize food so much and eating together? Well, it's because the early church actually centered a lot of what they did around eating food together. It's how they lived out the purpose of, of fellowship. In the Bible, in Acts 2.42, uh, the Bible says that they um, gathered together and listened to the apostles' teaching. And they, uh, they, they lived out the purpose of fellowship, essentially, by breaking bread together and praying together. And so that's exactly why we're doing it. Because we know that when we break bread together, that we get to live out the purpose of fellowship. Now, that's just one of God's five purposes. And in that passage, it, it talks about all of God's five purposes. So you might be wondering, okay, fellowship, but what are the other purposes? And today, we actually have an opportunity for you to discover what those purposes are. And we're going to be teaching our class, the class 101 through 301. And those classes are intended for you to discover God's purposes for your life. In class 101, you'll discover the purpose of fellowship and, and why it's so important to belong to the family of God. In 201, you'll discover the purpose of discipleship and, and how to grow in your walk with Jesus. And in 301, you'll discover the purpose of ministry and discover your unique shape so that you can serve the family of God. If you've never taken class before, I would highly encourage that you get to take this. It's the foundation that we have laid so that you can discover God's purposes for your life. And if you would like to do that, if you would like to take class 101, 201, 301, you can do that. We'll get you connected at the Connection Center after the service, and we'll get you plugged in. We're going to be doing it on Zoom this, this month, so you can just get the Zoom link and join us. It will be at 2.30 today, all three of the classes, whether 101, 201, 301. And I would just suggest if you've never taken a class before, start with class 101. Okay? Awesome. Well, today we have a really, really special message from our one of our campus pastors. Uh, is actually uh, Pastor Will Guzman from our Saddleback Espanol campus. And he has a really special message that I'm excited to hear what God has to say through him. So let's join up with Pastor Will and the rest of Saddleback as we study God's Word together. <laughs> 